it's rather helpful. So, rather than just guessing your way through and hoping for the best and trying to follow Senpai. I feel like I'm contradicting myself. I walked up and ended up grabbing myself uh, an Oktoberfest. I'm looking out my window and it's a freaking winter wonderland out there. Some contradiction here. I'm still sitting here thinking fall and Mother Nature's going, nope, it's winter. Surprise, motherfucker. And it's just light powdery stuff, it looks like. I have not been outside. I'm not a big fan of snow. I consider that just a four-letter word you do not utter in my presence, but... It's... Here a lot earlier than we were expecting. Everyone was expecting it around... Sometime tomorrow afternoon. Oh, I mean, I purposely meant to do that one extra step. I'm okay with cold, but not like frigid. Because typically I'm. I, my setup's t in, in our basement, that's where my rig is all at, and it's usually around 67, 68. Warmest it gets is sometimes 72 down where I am, and I'm comfortable with it. I love being down here. I've got just a little blanket on that's draping my legs just to kind of keep me warm. I got a sweater on. I like this. But going outside? No, I don't want to go outside today. Why am I trying to use an X item? I don't have any items right now. Well, I'm starting to notice, though, that the level, the 20 HP Squirtles have a speed tie with the Bulbasaurs. Whereas the 19 end up. We'll have a good special here. The 19s end up being much slower. So the determining value to go back to it was the DV of the Squirtle is going to be really good in speed in comparison to the Bulbasaur, and that's really kind of what I need. It's not going to outspeed much more of anything. I don't need it to outspeed much more than anything. It'll certainly outspeed this Pidgey. But for what I'm doing with it, I don't need it to outspeed much more. And I do like the cold weather. I'm more of a. I like drinking stouts myself, so the cold weather's nice for that because it's like, oh, well, it's perfect weather for it. You don't want to. You don't see a lot of people drink something that's a Guinness style or something real heavy or a real heavy beer in the summer. That's definitely a cold weather thing. going to make the day incredibly slow, and I don't want to... I ain't about that life. Though I am going to have to shovel, and chances are the heating guys that are supposed to come out and take a look at our furnace just to make sure it's in working order are going to not come out. Because everyone's heat's blowing. I know I had a, my best friend, her heat just blew earlier this morning.
Okay. That Pidgey encounter's kind of slowing us down a little bit, but... I just realized my DSM chart's not up. and I've caved and I'm gonna start buying seven. It's one extra click now, which could turn out in the favor in the long run. If we could get an encounter. Hey, that's good gonna do a little slower, do some damage to it, rather than YOLO balling. While YOLO balling's fun, not the greatest. Don't be a dick. Please just get in the goddamn ball. Thank you. Piss hand. Would have been a gold split if the thing decided not to be an ass. Seriously, that's that has been the best way to describe the runs lately tonight. Find Nidoran, get good luck to get it right away. And then have it break out of two Pokeballs. And then go, okay, now you can catch me. Maybe it's the curse. Maybe every ROM knows because uh, there's a new Pokemon Yellow World Record. That was broken earlier today. Shoutouts to, to Gunner on that one. I wish I got a chance to watch that run. I know he's been trying for it for quite some time, and he finally got it. I'm still going to grab the safety potion. I'd rather have that and need it in Brock then not have it and kind of go, well, I wish I would have picked that up instead. Sure, it wastes a couple of seconds, but you know what? Safety. A couple of seconds is better than having to start all over. Critical poison. I did four. Wow, these things are just being mean tonight. Come on, Squirtle. Double crit at the end. I'm gonna walk with Squirtle out. Still on a good pace. Alright, we would 
like an 11 or a 12. 12 preferably at level 5. Defense curl. Eh, whatever, I can take it. Ouch. Only six, though. I think this squirrel has a good defense. 11, 9, 11, 10. Fifteen, thirteen. Oh, that's great. Finally made it past Brock, yay! <laughs> I think I have a 26. Attack is less than desirable, but we have a super good special, it seems. Uh, if you skipped over level 8, then you won't get the horn attack. With this, it doesn't go back and add it back. 1818. Wow, this Nito. You kind of need you kind of need horn attack for these runs. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, I lived. Faster than Ekans, though. Oh, dear lord. 
Faster only in the sense that he keeps wrapping me. trying to determine what my special is. Because defense blows. Straight out, defense blows. Yes! String shot fail. That's good for us. That was fi that was figured. Uh... Oh, these string shot fails have been nice. That's not nice. That's trolley. Eleven four three. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we don't need to worry about stats anymore. That is a fantastic crit. Like you can't ask for a better crit than that. Oh, what the? F okay, whatever. Whatever. This speed, though. Oh, not the double string shot. Now I think I'm slower, for sure, than the Metapod. But we get the two, two roll. Yep, dang it. Can you crit again? No, of course you can't. When we need you to crit, you won't. I'm gonna run out of PP here because of that. So I'm gonna end up losing time. Unless we crit here right at the end. One might have been okay. I think we would have had a speed tie, but... Of some poison stings. Spiro would be nice. Box. Sure, it wastes time to open the menu and use the item, but... Okay. We want Water Gun and Mega Punch. We're just going to do with the new strats. That's always so promising. Jesus. I 
wouldn't care if it was a Paris. Although with the new strats I've given up counting with encounters with it, it just doesn't make sense because they're adding more steps as well. What? That is two trainers in a row I've done that with. I need to figure out what's causing that. Because that wastes time. You need a triple horn attack here. Because Poison Sting will not kill at that range. It'll leave him with one, and I don't want to deal with that. And you're useless piece of shit. This special's nice, too, because we can end up living to Misty. Wow, that was faster. And we're going to outspeed Misty, too, because the 14 dB speed is fantastic. Counters? Three or four? Still not bad, but could be better. Ish. I'm not even sure if Poison Sting will kill. I don't even want to even try it. Waste attacks. I'd rather waste the PP of that and make sure it's dead. Why I can't crit at the beginning of everything? I don't know. Okay. Nice. Kill it for the XP. They give a lot. I think they give, um, I think a level 10 gives 77 XP. Flarius is the frustrating part. You just want that Paris, though. Geodudes are frustrating unless you're running Water Gun. Because they're like, oh, look, free XP, and speaking of Paris. Level 8, so we're going to want to tackle. Good. Getting the ball. Fantastic, this is now a good moon. <laughs> Counter right before the stone. That's actually an encounter right before an item's really a good thing. Depending on your timing with it and how quick you can react, you'll get a jingle skip with it. And we use a jingle skip uh, right to get the full restore that's hidden in the tunnel to go down to Vermilion City from Cerulean, which is nice. So that saves a little bit of time if you're able to get an encounter right before it, but the likelihood of doing it's very hard, to say the least. Okay, I don't need any more 
XP. No, oh, I'm gonna need one more. Shit. Otherwise, I won't be 17 after this fight. Cool. Geodude's offer a lot of XP. That, that one being 110 was ridiculous. I think this should do the same thing. 122, that's... That's great. I don't need any more XP. Good menu. hits. Stupid crit. Take it. the super nerd if you're if you're deciding to do mega punch it's still better to horn attack it's still equally going to take two turns it just works better gonna lose a little bit of time here just because of the sheer fact it takes just a little longer than when I first did that. That's not too bad though. Only two seconds. It's really not bad at all. XP we needed. Now we have the instant text. And I've decided if I have to part with it super early, I'm okay with that. Because this rival fight can be really troll. And I'd rather make it through the fight and slow down in the long run than have to wait for that. I'd rather lose it and make it through the fight than anything else. that you're using. Yeah. 
would have preferred you to leave with that. Wow. Three in a row. Okay. We are now officially wasting time. It's better to drop it. it it's just straight up better to drop it. very bad fight. But again, I'd rather lose the instant text here and make it through the fight than not. Here's what we're going to do. This is probably going to slow us down in the long run. But I'm going to go back. I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal in the center. Why? Because it makes no sense. Because I will blow through all my potions. I'd rather waste the time here to do that. Because it's probably just as long. And I can get the instant text again. So it wastes quite a bit of time, but I think we might end up making some up in the long run. And I'm okay with that. Because now we should be able to go through everything. No problems. Because now we're full health. And if we lose time, we lose time. That's... that's fine. I'd rather lose time and make it up in the long run and be able to make it through healthily and survive than... And again, this isn't a world record run. This is the best run we've had so far tonight want to keep it up. I'd prefer not to screw it up. Punch the Boydie. Boydie dies. <laughs> I ended up slowing down quite a bit. Did you end up... If you're following the same exact thing, that well, if you're hitting the turbo button, that hurt, helps a lot. Especially with Mount Moon. Okay, good. Yeah, I still... I'm gonna end up losing time, I think. Unless these next two fights go super, super quick, which I doubt. Ah, okay, that'll do it. Now, Eradicate definitely has a nice early game to it, which is fantastic.
this split isn't going to be good because of that rival fight. I'm, I'm fully prepared for that, but I think we can make it up. The rival thing after two in a row, I should have just called it quits and then switched. So we lose time, but hopefully we're going to make it back up. Because now we're still keeping with this instant text. Which is fine. And that's the downside with using this strat, is if you dedicate to it, you're dedicated to it. And you want to keep it that entire time because you've spent all this time getting it set up. And you don't want to let it go. Oh, wow, and it knows rap. I should have just punched the stupid snake. Yeah, almost a full minute. That's that's not good. But we're definitely going to try to make that up here. I actually almost would rather fight him. Sure, he's got two more Pokemon. But they're Geodudes. Oh, and one of them's a Machop. That's just a movement error on my part. I think this will kill. It still comes down to be as many turns, I believe. I think then I just lost the instant text, which is fine. Just wait. I'm 
not forgetting this time. There's still a lot of time to be made up as well. I'm still probably going to end up being a minute down. Misty, let's fight. Star, are you down? Faster than you. I'm going to be really healthy for this. Oh, we get the four turn. Yes! And we're 26. Cool. now. Because we're going to pick up the instant text again. I wonder what's the fastest movement to get back to get this. There has to be a quicker movement through that just makes more sense, like, frame, warp, frame rate wise. I just don't know what it is, and I unfortunately don't have the time to test it. That's good. We made, we made up time on Misty. Now, this should help a lot. And we're a level ahead, too. Because normally in this fight, we would be hitting 26. just so satisfying. Just being able to mash your buttons that way in order to get it to work. Just super, super satisfying. That jingle skip's now just gone. comfortable. Although it's the speed and the special that's really kind of keeping this thing going. Because we crit almost every other attack now.
I didn't necessarily need to use that potion at Misty, but... Again, just trying to be as safe as possible in order to get a run done. holding the down. <laughs> Alright, this arrival should be much, 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 much easier. I'm gonna horn attack, not mega punch. Because I can probably kill with bubble beam. just wanting to err on the side of caution with everything. I know I do really want to punch that bird. Fuck it. We're punching the bird. We punched the bird. That instant potion, though. Whatever, Eradicate. You're not going to live through this fight. He's trying to live, and he can't. Now hopefully we get a crit on Ivysaur. Nope. Whatever. He's like Lull Seed. satisfying, Batman, just to be able to be done with that dialogue. Just skipping all that dialogue is fantastic. I love it. Sadly, we lose our instant text. And we have to sit here for this freaking cutscene. Here's where a lot of luck's involved. Not bad cans. These cans are great, actually. <laughs> I think that probably could have been better is if the can the first switch was in that f first can I checked. I don't know how possible red bar is here or how plausible it would be.
Ah, uh, this Oddish has a chance to live. I'm not going to go through Rock Tunnel with Red Bar. I like to see. But granted, even without instant text, that I remember with this PB, my cans were just horrendous. some testing to see if we can keep instant text for this guy because he just wastes so much time talking to and then if we'd be able to dig out of the gym or if we would have to go back into another building to do it double input By Mega Punch, yes, that's right. Okay. Terrible, terrible menu. I need to work better on that. Now, I want to go through it on Red Bar, but I just think it's super, super risky. Ouch. Worked out. Okay. Hit him with a thunderbolt. Right, you hit him with a thunderbolt. Why did Lieutenant Surge ever talk with like a New Yorkian accent? Never really understood that. Uh, I, I don't know too much about uh, the mechanics of focus energy in in this. I believe it is supposed to... How it's supposed to work, it, it increases your critical chance. But I'm not entirely sure. It's best paired with moves like uh, Slash and Karate Chop. I'm not going to go through it on Red Bar. I want to, but I want to play safe. Bonk. I don't like my chances that I won't. But 
that th this Oddish isn't going to die. Eh, whatever. I actually don't think that wastes any time. Yeah, it's... It's, it was too close, and if it's one of those she puts me to sleep, I don't want to deal with it. Because that's how I had a good run die last time. Cool. I don't think we have anything to worry about. I saw someone earlier across is doing um, a Ratata run or turned up Raticate run. It was rather, it was rather interesting, to say the least. I caught him when he was on the Elite Four, but still a very interesting concept. It has a decent special. Its early game is phenomenal, learning Quick Attack, which has such a high power for how early in the game you learn it, and its power spikes really aren't that bad. But after a while, it does fall off. Everything else starts to catch up. It not having another evolution kind of hurts it. And it's because of those early game stats that it has, which makes Raticate one of the... Or Raditea, one of the best early Pokemon you can catch, I think, in any game. Just for that sheer fact of it has so many power spikes. However, I don't think it's as consistent and as quick as a, uh, as a Nidoran. But that's just me. I've not tried it. I'd have to try it on my own on a console just to kind of mess around with it. Oh. I don't know either. I... I didn't watch too much of it. It was interesting, to say the least. Definitely a good concept. Surprise Vulpix lived off of that. That's probably the hardest item to look for in the game. In a speedrun setting, at least. Eleven four three.
I was practicing earlier, I was doing another run earlier in the week, and this chick moonwalked away from me. It was the creepiest thing. I wish I had a recording of it just to show how crazy it was. I sat there just dumbfounded of what? And I could have sworn she went tee -hee. I know there's a better pathing for that, and I should have done it. And I don't have the antidote. That was just a t that menu was just bad. I easily lost a good 10 seconds because that menu was just shit. Oh well. Say you lovey. sand attack doesn't matter here, I don't have to worry about accuracy checks. Sucks to be you, Pidgeotto. That's right, get out of here. I got stuff to accomplish. Okay. Now we get to check to see how good Needle King's accuracy is. Granted, we do have quite a bit of time we can kind of mess with here. But I'd rather it be successful than have to deal with bullshit. Because I'm too rich and famous to deal with this bullshit. Thank you. 
Self makes me kind of nervous. I'm a little nervous for that. Me and the self rival with its runs don't exactly have a great history. It usually ends my runs. I definitely hit A. Thank you. Or the button on my keyboard that corresponds with A as a Game Boy. for the polka doll could have been a lot better. I think my special is good enough where I can just thunderbolt my way through it. side of caution and just rock slide. I really, really, really want red bar, but I can't force it to happen. Especially with this. I'd, I'd rather play it safe. I can deal with a tackle that just wastes a little bit of time. Pray for mercy. Get out of here, Rocket, with your silly flat hat. Their hats are silly. Oh, I'm thunderbolting for the sheer fact of I don't know if Thrash will kill, and I know my special's really good. So I'd rather do that and then waste the animation for Thrash here than miss. Or worse. I'm gonna fight you rockets all I want, and I'm gonna get away with this, whether you like it or not. Being in red bar kind of made that a little slower. Just a little bit, though. Now comes the button mashing. Thank you. 
Move it, Snorlax, you're in my way. Steal it, Snorlax. I missed it. That sucked. Hopefully the peepee -pee up's a little better. Where is this peepee -pee up? That's not good. There it is. About freaking time. I'm gonna lose a few seconds because of that. Which sucks, but... You know what? We needed the items. Slow menu, there's a there's definitely a better way to have done that. I made a couple of mistakes, but still gonna get the backup full restore here. I prefer to have it, it's a nice little safety net. Safety nets are nice, especially in this, because something can go wrong. And why am I up one tile? And I just like to be prepared to be able to get back to full if I really need to. I'm setting it to the bike because right after when I warp out of here for Celadon. I'm going to need to get back on the bike again, and I would hate to use a uh, super repel then have to go buy another one, because that just seems stupid. Either way, with that, I have to move from the super repels to my my bike anyways. So if I'm already in the menu, might as well do it right away. That way I can just mash the instant I come back to Celadon. Okay, this is where things get kind of scary. I have a hard time trusting Self-Rival.
I'm so used to using Thrash. And I'm okay with that, and here's why. I'm okay with getting that crit there, because I'm going to set everything up on Pidgeot for the rival fight. And since I'm setting up on Pidgeot, there's a good chance he's going to just keep hitting me. And I'd rather him keep hitting me, because he could put me in red bar right there, and that's a lot safer than trying to do it off of Gyarados. Because doing it off of Gyarados, you can get one, well, one crit, it's over. He crits you, you're done, Ron's done. this way with Pidgeot. Sure, it's going to take multiple turns, but if he gets me in red bar during it... That'll be great. I have to say, I think Earthquake out of everything has been my... Uh, all the Pokemon games. Earthquake is just my favorite move. And Diamond and Pearl, my teams, it was very predictable that someone on my team, I'd have at least half my team filled with uh, someone who uses Earthquake. I just think the move's super, super cool. There's something about it. Trying to dig away from me? No, I got a far superior ground type move. Plus, at 100, 100, 100 power, 100 accuracy, you can't really go wrong with a move like that. Alright, here comes the scary part. kind. Using Horn Drill twice. I believe one will be on Pidgeot, the other's obviously on Venusaur. It's great, Sand Attack doesn't matter. Whirlwind doesn't matter. Bam. Good rival fight. GG Bro. And yes, this is going to be slower, but again, it's safer. And right now we have such a good run going, it's on pace to be under that two-hour mark. I'm going to take it. If we can get in red bar, great. Actually, no, wait. Uh, yeah, three drill on Giovanni. So if he's here and he knows about the boss rocket, why isn't he taking care of it, being the great trainer that he is? This it doesn't make any sense. I get it, he... You're supposed to be taking care of it, but that that interaction almost breaks the fourth wall in the game. For the sheer fact of, yeah, I can do it, but you're the protagonist of this. This is your job. It just doesn't make any sense. See, I don't agree with this, with the guide that with this particular Nido, I need to. Well, I guess I see where they're coming from for safety, because you'd want to heal and use the super potion after that first juggler. But with this, I'm healthy enough where I'm able to. 
get away with doing one earthquake on Hypno. And being able to Thunderbolt the end of it. Oh, that's the wrong one. Shit. That's okay. That just makes Agatha a little interesting. That's okay. That's okay. Because the only other X speed I'm going to need is at Lance. It works out. We're fine. We didn't goof up. Only a little, though. Just a little F up, but there I don't think we have anything to be concerned with. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because there's no way to get another X speed. There really isn't. That is okay, though. That's three trainers this run where that's happened. Yeah, the guy's almost saying that it's an available X speed, but I don't think I need it. disobeying it again even if I, I think even with yeah with my health I should still survive a crit from confusion on this hypno not really concerned with it plus there's a good chance I'm going to crit plus that saves me two earthquakes for, for later die hypno And we get the headbutt, which is fine. Apparently that didn't kill it. Interesting. I must have gotten a really low roll on that. I don't know where my elixirs are. If I really have a fear, I can super potion or heal before black belt, which I think I'm going to end up doing anyways, just for some extra safety. might be at a range where he's going to use an next attack. Cool. We get the boom. Now 
No, I don't. I don't want toxic. That's toxic. I don't want that. It's a bad TM. It's a bad one. Bad menu, don't don't follow that. Do strength first and then finish with the rare candies. I think it'll still end up working out, but See though. Erica Blaine Sabrina, okay. Sorry if I'm not very interactive with chat and kind of focusing. be able to save an X accuracy anywhere. I really can't. I can't even save an X speed. I wish I could get another one, but... It's okay, though. off. Now we're in red bar. Alright, nose to the grindstone. Let's, let's get this run done. We're there. We're close. five-minute point.
I need to stop worrying about time and focus more on getting this done without fucking up. Making rookie mistakes. you do it again. Well, I just wasted any time. I wasted a lot of time on that. That sucks. Because if I would have gotten it wrong, I still would have had to fight the trainer. there was a way to prevent the lag on that. That's the one thing I don't like about this part of the run is these quizzes, because there's so much lag. I almost prefer the cans to that. For some reason, you can't one-hit KO Pokemon that are faster than you. You just can't do it. Lose a little bit of time here because of that. split. Thank you. 
I'm gonna heal after Rhyhorn. Ugh, one tile too far. The sad thing was I debated about getting an extra X speed just in case I might need it. Or could I heal during Rhyhorn? Now we'll heal after Rhyhorn because we still want to keep the red bar. This way, when we get hit with a karate chop, or if we get hit with a karate chop, we'll still survive a crit. Which is the hope. Okay, now the super risky part is over. I am glad I did use those potions, though. let Rhyhorn hit me to do some damage, but I'd rather not, because I'd like to live. Spec. Okay. Why couldn't we have just gotten that crit beforehand? Level up. Cool. No, of course I don't have fa space for fissure. No fissures here. Only horn drills. Okay. Home stretch. I'm gonna see if I can get a perfect victory road, too.
I knew I should have used Ice Beam on it. I was a fool. Darn it. That's okay. We're still on a good bait. A good pace. Fifty, all right. Okay. Oh no, I moved one too far. Christ. Man, I'm just not moving right already. I think in the long run that's not going to affect anything, but it's frustrating. I'm going to be a little quiet because I'm going to try to focus here right at the end. But when I get out of Victory Road, I will be back to interacting. Uh, damn it. Would be off of it by two steps. Okay, that was risky to do. And it was going to be a couple steps off, just from the bonk. That was two exactly. One to push it, then two to... Oh, three. One to push it, two to go through.
Squirtle, you have been an integral part of this team. But I'm sorry, we have to let you go. Alright. Elite Four. Let's do this. This is for all the marbles. This is where things get scary. Spiro, you're a sacrificial lamb, and you know it! Alright. Cool. Which time with Giovanni? Sorry, I kind of... At that point, after Giovanni on and uh, after getting Ver the Viridian badge, I just kind of focused down on the Earth badge afterwards because that movement has to be precise to get through it. And I'm still in the process of working on it with the emulator because it, it's just taken some getting used to. Just with the hand coordination, but... If this gets done, I'm going to put it up on YouTube, so... Oh, yeah, I, I warped out and then flew to Fuchsia City. You're talking back after Silphco. Oh, that's Red Bar. That's Red Bar. Now I'm going to heal the full heat. Uh, no. Yeah, that's when I went to Fuchsia. Because then the gym order is Fuchsia, go to Pallet, go to Cinnabar Mansion to get the secret key. Then it depends on the stats of your Pokemon, of your Nido from there. Typically the order is Erica, Blaine, Sabrina. Here's where things get a little risky. I don't need an XP available X speed, but meh. If I stay healthy, I should be okay. Piss off, Gengar. Yes! Dream Eater! That's... that's what we needed. And a Paralysis, and a Fully Paralyzed. Yes! That's gonna be a great Agatha! Oh, that's going to be fantastic. We're not faster than her last Gengar, though. If we weren't faster than the first one, we're not faster than the last one. Now I just have to hope for Toxic or something. I could take Nightshade, too. That's 60 damage. That's fine. And now he's down. Sweet. Oh no, now we blow it. 
I'd hit B. Why? All right. Now this is where stuff gets kind of scary. If it wasn't scary before, it's scary now because Gyarados will one-shot kill if he crits. right there. I'm gonna follow... Um... One, two... I'm going to X speed, and then I'm also going to Elixir here, otherwise I'm gonna be out of Ice Beams. I think what the AI is trying to do is use a move that's super effective on me there. And the only move Dragonair has is Ice Beam for it. Or Agility, I'm sorry. So then what I can do here is I'm going to heal. Heal the full. Play safe. already. All we need to do now is our X items, and we're done. This way, our rival can just beat on us. If he puts us in red bar, he puts us in red bar. <sighs> Alright. Gotta be cautious. on. That's it. That's it. We're done. We should be under the two hour mark. We should be done. We should be reaching our goal. Oh, if that's going to be a 157, that's going to be nice. I don't know. I just don't know how it's going to go. <sighs> My mashing hand is getting tired from all the button mashing. Come on. Whew. That's good. That's either going to be a 157 or a 158. Nice. Whew. I don't know if I split too early or split too late just to end that, but... I like to do it when the fact that you're going to gain control of the character again. That was scary there for a while. Agatha was, Agatha came in clutch with that. The Agatha fight is what did it. That definitely kind of helped swing things in our favor.
because using that X speed wasted a turn in Giovanni the first time. Not a big deal. Getting instant text and fighting the rival, having to kill it, then go back and do it again, and fighting the wrong trainer on that, I thought we were going to lose quite a bit of time, so we definitely could have made up another minute. That's a 157. That is definitely a 157. Oh, that's the best run I've had ever. That's that's definitely a personal best right there. I've been trying for that two-hour mark for quite some time. That's... That feels good.